Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Abdul Shafi, and in this video we will be learning how an X mold wizard works and what's the relation between the traditional method of mold making using CAD programs and this new NX mold wizard. All right, let's get into it. Um, first of all, we need to have uh, an example or a, a prototype to try and do it with the traditional method and then we can do it with the mold wizard to see the similarities between them. All right, so for example, um, we can do um, like, this is going to be our product with hole, two diameters holes uh, in it. So this is going to be our product. So uh, for the traditional method, we have to, first of all, we have to like pick the, uh, the parting surface, right? So if we imagine this part, we can take the parting surface in, in a, lot of, uh, a lot of places. We can take it here, take it here, uh, take it here. We can also take it here. It's uh, a lot of choices, but we, for this video, we'll be taking the parting surface to be on this level, all right? So that uh, the lower part has this part, this area, and this is the upper part of the mold, all right? So let's start by drawing it. Are you getting a sketch? You can use the revolve um, command here. The center line. Right, and we can make this. All right, we don't need to get into the, the dimensions for now, we don't need them. So he got it. And we tell him, uh, we tell him revolve. This is about this axis, and we get it. So this is our prototype for now. It has the one hole with the two diameters in it, right? Um, so the traditional uh, method of doing the uh, mold for this part actually one of the traditional because there's a lot of like schools in it but uh, one of them is like that you first of all you determine the the parting surface as we said before the parting surface exists on like here right it exists on this in this surface right so what we do here is that we like sketch on the surface itself right I say okay and we draw we draw our parting surface right and then we go to surfaces and then we say fill surface right so this right here is our parting surface what we do next is that we take an offset of the faces that will be contained on the core and cavity with a zero offset, right? This is a single face. Select them. And of course, we don't want to take this whole one, but we can take it and trim it and, and then trim it later, right? So we take the faces of one side, for example, like the top side for right now, might be the core, the cavity, whatever you decide later. But yeah, so we take an offset surface of zero and then we hide our solid part, right? Right now we need to trim this sheet using this sheet. And then we want to discard the lower part. We press apply, right? And then trim the sheet using this telling him to keep the out the outer so right now this is this is supposed to be the parting surface but there's something missing here 
as we talked in the, the previous video, um, we have to fill the parting surface. There can't be an empty part on it. So when we trim the working piece, it can be trimmed successfully. Right, so now we need to fill this hole. This surface is a new surface that we are going to generate, and it's going to be the meeting between the the part, uh, the two sides of the mold, right? The core and cavity, right? So we go to the surface again, and we do fill surface. It's fine. We don't need it to be G one. G one. We need G zero, and then we press apply. Right. So right now we have the parting surface ready. So first we sew them together all. Point one five. I like to keep it like this. Um, all right, and then you do your port piece that is going to be your mold and cavity, right? Can go like this, like this, and like this, all right? And then we extrude it. Oh, it's like negative. I don't know the dimensions already, but I don't know if it's enough or not. Yeah, it's like negative 50 and 50, right? Make sure that the work piece is fully uh, covering the prototype that we have, the parts. Right. So the last two steps that we're going to do is first we need uh, to do subtract. We uh, subtract the part itself from the workpiece and we say keep tool and we press apply. And then we split body using the parting surface that we've just made. Right. So right now we need to move one of them to see the results. Right, press apply. We hide our parting surface. See the result. So there we go. There is the core, and there is the cavity, and the prototype is already there. We can hide it to get the results here. All right. So this was one traditional. Um, method of making the mold of course it's a simple bar to show the difference between the traditional and the, the new mold wizard method so right now let's try to make the same part with mold wizard we um get back to the same parts so first of all we get to mold wizard we initialize project we select the same part we select everything okay is making the assemblies that we talked about so for now the first thing you do is you do your work piece that we've done before he centers it okay um, then what we want to do is to check regions like for example let's say that we are going to eject it the other side for example and then press calculate. He calculated everything and then we press apply. All right. He doesn't know where will the cavity end and where will the core end. This is what we are going to determine as we did before in the traditional method. So we press OK, thank you. And then we go to patching surface because we know that the parting surface is going to be on this surface, right? We have already determined that so we do a patching surface here for this face right and then reverse apply and this is the surface that we made before in the traditional method but right now we need to like split this outer um, this outer surface to um, for the current cavity 
we need to split the outer surface for the current cavity. So I can actually like so draw some surface right here. So I can trim with it. It's the same idea, guys. And then we fill the surface. Fill it, right? And then we divide our face using this object, right? So right now we have two faces, and then we go back to define regions and def and assign the new faces that we have just generated one to the core and one to the cavity, right? So this guy belongs to the core, right? And what else belongs to the core? The inside, of course, belongs to the core. Right now we have one undefined face, which is this one. It's this one. And this guy, of course, belongs to the cavity. And then after we defined all the faces of the product and we made our patching surface, we have to make the parting lines and the parting surface itself. So we go to the cavity regions and we do create regions and create parting lines. And delete and continue, delete the old one and create a new one. And the core region, we create a new one and delete the old ones. Right? So then we go to the parting surface. Now we have one segment because the product is so simple. And we choose bounding plan. Alright. Bounded plan. And the reverse apply. By this we have created everything needed. And then we go to define current cavity and then we press all regions. We say okay. Now we make the first. This is the cavity or the core whatever and this is the core that we have defined all right so uh, you can now see the similarities between both of method both of the methods it's uh, pretty similar to each other but in the uh, on the more complex parts there's some tricks that you need to do like you have to assign the new surfaces that you've made um, into the patch uh, Patch, a patching surface like uh, you have to assign them as a patching surface using this command um, as we did in the previous video you can check it all right that's it for this video if you liked it don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on notifications to watch our new uploads i also apologize for any editing and or grammar mistakes i made um, so make sure to comment your thoughts on the video and feel free to ask me anything. Also, don't forget to tell me what you'd like to see on this channel for the next videos. Thank you.